Hello everyone! Welcome to Math Corner! In this video, we will discuss the nature of the roots of quadratic equations. Let us begin! Let us consider quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. In the quadratic formula, x equals negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, the radicand b squared minus 4ac is the discriminant. The discriminant is used to determine the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation. The roots may be equal or unequal, real or imaginary, rational or irrational. If the discriminant is equal to zero, the roots are real, equal, and rational. If the discriminant is greater than zero and is a perfect square, the roots are real, unequal, and rational. If the discriminant is greater than zero but not perfect square, the roots are real, unequal, and irrational. And if the discriminant is less than zero, the roots are imaginary. Let us have some examples. Example number one, let us determine the nature of the roots of x squared plus 10x plus 25 is equal to zero. In this quadratic equation, the value of a is equal to 1, b is equal to 10, c is equal to 25. Again, the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. Let us substitute the given values. b squared becomes 10 squared minus 4ac becomes minus 4 times 1 times 25. Let us simplify. 10 squared is equal to 100. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 times 25 is equal to negative 100. 100 minus 100 is equal to 0. Since the discriminant is equal to 0, the roots are real, equal, and rational. Example number 2. 2x squared minus 9x plus 9 is equal to 0. In this quadratic equation, a equals 2, b equals negative 9, c equals positive 9. Let us substitute the given values to the discriminant. b squared becomes a square of negative 9 minus 4ac becomes minus 4 times 2 times 9. A square of negative 9 or negative 9 times negative 9 is equal to 81. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Negative 8 times 9 is equal to negative 72. 81 minus 72 is equal to positive 9. Since the discriminant is greater than 0 and is a perfect square, the roots are real unequal, and rational. Example number 3, 4x squared minus 3x minus 5 is equal to 0. In this quadratic equation, a equals 4, b equals negative 3, c equals negative 5. Let us determine the nature of the roots. b squared becomes a square of negative 3, minus 4ac becomes minus 4 times 4 times negative 5. A square of negative 3 is equal to positive 9. Negative 4 times 4 is equal to negative 16. Negative 16 times negative 5 is equal to positive 80. 9 plus 80 is equal to 89. Since the discriminant is greater than 0 but not perfect square, the roots are real, unequal, and 
irrational. Last example, let us determine the nature of the roots of x squared plus 5x plus 7 is equal to 0. In this quadratic equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 5, c is equal to 7. Let us substitute the given values. b squared becomes 5 squared minus 4ac becomes minus 4 times 1 times 7. 5 squared is equal to 25. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 times 7 is equal to negative 28. 25 minus 28 is equal to negative 3. Since the discriminant is less than 0, the roots are imaginary. And that is how to determine the nature of the roots of quadratic equation. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.